A few months ago, I made a tutorial on how to create a productive work environment with i3 in Debian. However, in distributions derived from Ubuntu, such as Linux Mint, the latest version of i3, version 4.22 is not yet available. For this reason, we are going to install i3 from source. The process is quite simple. The most complicated thing is to get all the dependencies, I got them from i3 gaps, which was discontinued in the latest version of i3. We also need to install git to clone our dot files. In addition to this, we need to install the suckless tools package, as this package contains dmenu. Once the dependencies are installed, we move on to compile i3. We can get the code from Git or from the official website. I am going to download the code from the official page. To compile i3, we follow the standard compilation procedure with Messen. From here, you can decide which bar you like best, polybar, xmobar, or i3 blocks. I like i3 blocks, so I'm going to install it. I am also going to install it from source code as it is quite simple. Once the toolbar is installed, some files need to be configured. The first thing is to create the Zinatar C file, which is responsible for running i3 when you log in. Now, if we were to restart the computer, now we would not be able to access i3. To enable the i3 option at login, we have to create this file with this content. Another problem I encountered is that there can be unexpected behavior with the cursor size, sometimes it can be very large and very small. To fix this, we simply need to create the xresources file with this configuration. Optionally, we can also install this package to change the theme, icons, font and cursor style. In my case, I need to install the Messel font for i3 blocks. For that I have a script to install any nerd font. Finally, we clone our i3 and i3 blocks configuration in the hidden config folder. Now we can restart the computer. You will notice that in this area of the desktop manager, you will be able to select i3. With the LX appearance package, we can change the Windows theme. Now you can follow the rest of my tutorials to install the rest of the packages.
like Rofi, ZSH, and Neavim.